In this video, I'm showing you how to download Google Chrome and install it on Windows 10. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So I'm showing you the full guide of being able to download Google Chrome, the exact site you need to use, and then how to install it and all sorts of tips and tricks. Without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So the first thing you want to do is go and find a web browser you currently already have on your computer. So on Windows, you're automatically going to have Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. Unless you've uninstalled either of these, you should have them. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use Internet Explorer, um, but you could use Edge as well. So I'm going to come down to the search icon down here and simply go and click on Internet Explorer and then it's going to go and launch it. Okay, so come and click on search and then all you want to do is simply go and search for Google Chrome, just like so. So of course we have to go and download it before we can go and install it. So once you've gone and found it, then it's going to be google.co.uk, download Chrome today. Make sure you do use an official Google website, otherwise it may not be legit. So there we've got the option here for downloading Chrome. I'm personally going to untick this box here and then I'm going to go and click download Chrome. Then it's going to go and drop a download as you can see here. Do you want to run or save Chrome setup? So personally, I'm going to go and click on save and then it's going to go and uh, download it. Then I'm going to go and click on view downloads and here it is. Now I'm going to go and click on run. So I'm going to click run and then it's going to go and bring you to a uh, Windows security pop up. Um, which you have to click yes to and then it's going to go and start another download so essentially what we downloaded on internet explorer was a launcher and now it's actually downloading the browser so here we go it's now downloading and another thing you can also do is go and create a google account um, having a google account basically means it will synchronize your search history and other sort of bookmarks and stuff like that on all your google accounts um, on all your devices so if you have that google account on different devices it's all going to be the same which i personally use and it's really helpful so i'm going to wait for this to install so the installer just disappeared for me and it's now gone and put the Google Chrome application on the desktop. Also, Google Chrome may go and open automatically once the download is finished, um, and mine did, but I just wanted to show you guys what happens if it doesn't. So if it doesn't, simply go and click on it on your desktop, or you can go and search for Chrome here, and then go and double click on it. And then it's going to go and open up Google Chrome. Now, because I've had Google Chrome on this computer before, it's gone and remembered my bookmarks and stuff like that. Um, and I have to go and log in again. But apart from that, this is going to look exactly the same, except for you won't have any of this history stuff. And you can go and use it as a normal web browser. If you have found this video useful, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.